Introducing the Nexus 360, D'Addario's first rechargeable omnidirectional tuner. Visible at every turn, from any angle, no matter where you wind up. Nexus 360, built for your next stage. This is the other bike main staple, which isn't standard. So I'll either between the switch up between the SG and this, which is like one of my favorite guitars also. Yeah, obviously it's a Les Paul, but tell me a little bit more about it. It's beautiful. Uh, it's had two neck breaks. <laughs> and yeah, it's called Casey Jones. Uh, obviously, it's a you know alluding to a Grateful Dead song, I assume. Or is it? Are you a fan of like Teenage Mutant uh, Ninja Turtles? Well, I found out about the <laughs> found out about the Grateful Dead song after, but it was actually just a, I was in Amsterdam. It was a kind of weed that we bought, oh. and it was called it's called Casey Jones. We had just bought the guitar, and I thought that's a really funny name. But it turns out the name's got a bunch of history. It's like about this train driver that like drove a train. cocaine. Yeah, and he killed, <laughs> bunch, he killed a bunch of people. It's like, he basically drove all the tracks. And I just thought that's so funny, so I just named the guitar that. That's awesome. <laughs> I had a really stupid name before. I can't remember what it was. God knows. Yeah, it was Les Claypool or something. <laughs> you, you called it that. But then I, was, I thought this was funny, I just got that. But I think it's the 2001, so it's like the golden era of like good Gibson like back in the day, because I went through that period of just like not being that good, yeah. like really badly built. And uh, yeah, I bought it on Denmark Street in London and the guy never told me it had a neck break. And then I put, we were playing a show maybe a month later on tour and I was standing under the, like, the fluorescent lights and I looked at it and I was like, that motherfucker never <laughs> even told me that had a neck break. But I got it for super cheap and I love it. And it sounds, sounds amazing. I'm a massive Led Zeppelin fan and this is the closest I could get to the Jimmy Page guitar. Yeah. On a budget, but yeah, I love it. And then I broke the neck over lockdown, it fell off my bed and I got it fixed. And do you know what? It still sounds great. It hasn't affected it. I, was, I always hear people saying that like, when you get neck breaks, that, that affects the sound, but I mean the Edge, snapped his... Uh, the Explorer, Explorer. Yeah. yeah, and uh, he says it sounds better than ever, so whatever. But it's a bit heavy, this, that's why I don't play it all the time now, but I was playing, this was my main guitar for a long time. Now but, they do the, the kind of the relicking thing, is that is that what that is, or is that just you? This is all me. Got it. <laughs> this is all just jumping about the stage. I don't tend to throw my guitars too much. This is from like being in a case, and then this is all bu buckle rash. But yeah, funny you say that. It does actually look like it's been relic. Yeah. That is funny. It's a beauty. Yeah, I do love it. <laughs>